Sunday between the Feast of Circumcision and Epiphany. The Feast of Epiphany. <coughs> His name was called Jesus, which was called by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. My dear brethren in Jesus Christ, At the time of circumcision, a name was given to the child, Jesus. Hence, the Holy Mother of the Church has chosen for the celebration of the Holy Name of Jesus a day closer to the Feast of Circumcision. In a motu proprio dated October 13, October 23, 1913, Pope Saint Pius X moved this feast from the second Sunday after Epiphany to the Sunday between the Feast of Circumcision and the Feast of Epiphany. Celebrating the feast of the most holy name of Jesus, let us rejoice in the glorious name, which is a title for our eternal predestination, because our names are written in heaven. Saint Bernard calls us, tells us of the power and sweetness of this blessed name. The name of Jesus is light. The name of Jesus is food. The name of Jesus is medicine. It is light when it is preached to us. It is food when we meditate upon it. And it is the medicine that soothes our pains when we invoke this name, Jesus. Hence, call upon the most holy name of Jesus. The Lord says in Psalm 49, verse 15, Call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, thou shalt glorify me. There is nothing which so restrains the impulse of anger, so calms the swelling of pride, heals the wounds of envy, repress the insatiability of luxury, smothers the flame of lust, quenches the thirst of avarice and dispels the fever of uncleanness as the name of Jesus. Here is the name of Jesus. Believe me, says Saint Bernard. It is wholesome and good for every ailment you can possibly have. Ever have the name Jesus with you in your bosom and in your hand so that all your affections and actions may be directed to Jesus. On this feast of the holy name of Jesus, it is most appropriate that we should meditate on the first petition of the Lord's Prayer, Hallowed be thy name. In the Old Covenant, the name of God inspired fear and awe. Nor was the honor of pronouncing it granted to all the children of Israel. God had not yet come down 
from heaven to live on earth and converse with men, he has not yet taken upon himself our poor nature and become man like ourselves. The sweet name expressive of love and tenderness could not be yet applied to him in the Old Testament. But when the fullness of time had come, when the mystery of love was about to be known, then did heaven send down the name of Jesus to our earth. The angel Gabriel said to Mary, Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus means Savior, signifying the office of the one who saves by shedding his blood, saves from our sins. This sweet name seems to link earth to heaven. No name is so amiable, none is so powerful. Every knee in heaven, on earth, and in hell bows in adoration at hearing this name, Jesus. In the opening words of the Lord's Prayer, we ask that God's name may be honored shows that God's glory should be our chief desire. The principal end and purpose of our creation was to give glory to God. There are two signs by which we know whether the chief concern of ours is the glory of God or our own glory. First, do we perform our good actions only or mainly to gain the esteem of man? <coughs> Secondly, are we displeased and made envious by the good which others do? The sublime dignity of the name of our Savior is indicated in the words of today's Gospel. It shows that it was conceived in heaven by God and announced on earth by an angel. Such an origin and announcement were indeed fitting the name of him who was in reality not only man, but also God himself. As we owe to the person of God all respect and all homage, so do we owe his name the highest reverence of which we are capable. Unfortunately, however, in these days, the name of God is only too often dishonored. And it is needful at this time that we should meditate also on the second commandment of God and recall our duties towards <coughs> God's holy name. We honor God's name in several ways. First of all, by publicly acknowledging him as our Lord and Master. Secondly, respectfully hearing and meditating his word. Thirdly, by praising and thanking him in adversity and prosperity. Fourthly, by imploring his assistance. And finally, by the taking of 
love for her words and vows. This second commandment of God forbids the irreverent use of God's name or of any holy thing, especially in a cursing and blasphemous manner. That is, when one wishes evil to or uh, speaks contemptuously of God or sacred things. It forbids perjury or the taking of a false oath. This precept is also violated by swearing to do that which is seriously wrong, by swearing without sufficient reason, or by false gods, by disrespectfully using <coughs> the words of scriptures, or by failing to keep lawful vows, then comes cursing, that is, the calling down of evil on any of God's creatures. And profanity, that is, speaking lightly of holy things, are forbidden by this precept. Let us learn a lesson from this teaching of God himself in his commandment and in his prayer, Lord's prayer. Catholics, therefore, should not cause the name of Jesus or of his church to be profaned by our own conduct or by our will, evil words and actions. But on the contrary, by clean speech and good example, we ought to excite others, to exalt the name of Jesus, to respect the faith on his doctrines, and to honor his church. Those who commit perjury and blasphemy have often been visibly punished in this world. Those who have habituated to the use of cursing and blasphemous language should not call themselves free from grievous sin unless they are manfully striving to overcome those habits. Profanity and blasphemy are language of hell as praise and glorification of God's name or the language of heaven. Let us therefore <coughs> practice the speech we hope to use in heaven for eternity in order to make <coughs> reparation for profanations of the holy name of Jesus, let us always say the divine praises with great devotion. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the